This video accompanies introduction to Coroutines and Channels hands-on lab. Read the lab before watching this video. We are going to discuss in detail the following example. What happens here? Here we create a channel, two producers that send values to this channel, and one consumer that receives values from this channel. Let's see how it works. At first, we create a channel of strings. We can send and receive string values to and from it. Let's discuss what the producers and consumer do. At first, we start the first coroutine, producer A. It's going to send two values to the channel and then report that it's done. At first, it sends the first value, the string A1, to the channel. Because we don't pass any argument to it, it's a rendezvous channel. It doesn't have any buffer. Whenever there are both send and receive calls, the value gets sent, otherwise one of the calls gets suspended. In this case, no one yet called receive on this channel. And because of that, the routine that called the send call gets suspended. We'll use the gray color to mark that the routine is suspended. Because we run all our routines on the main thread, the second producer B routine is started only after the first one gets suspended and the thread is free. It's going to send only one value to the channel. But again, since this channel doesn't yet have receive call that can receive this value, the producer B routine also gets suspended. The main thread gets free and the third routine, the consumer, is started. It calls receive on channel. Now the rendezvous happens. There is the send call trying to send the value and the receive call ready to receive the value. These calls meet and the receive call can receive the actual value. Note that when the rendezvous moment happens, the suspended coroutine gets awakened. Here, the producer A coroutine gets awakened. However, since the thread is still busy, the coroutine is only scheduled to be executed later. We'll mark it with a blue highlighting, meaning that this coroutine is ready to be resumed. Now, receive returns the A1 value, and in the next line it gets printed. We use the log method, so we can also see from which thread and coroutine it gets printed. Consumer is the fourth coroutine. The first one is started by run blocking, the second one and the third ones are producer A and producer B. Then the consumer coroutine continues its execution. It reaches the next receive call on the second loop iteration. Now again the rendezvous happens. The send and receive calls meet. The producer B coroutine now is ready to be resumed. But since the thread is busy, the coroutine is only get scheduled on it, but not yet started. It needs to wait its turn. We again highlight the producer B with blue to emphasize that. Now receive returns the B1 value, and this value gets printed. Now the consumer again calls receive on the next loop iteration. This time, however, the channel is empty and there are no send calls ready to send values. Thus, the receive call gets suspended. The consumer coroutine gets suspended. Now two coroutines are ready to be resumed. But the producer A was first, so it gets resumed first. It continues its execution and reaches the call sending the A2 value to the channel. The rendezvous happens. There is the receive call already awaiting. Now the send call doesn't get suspended because it has the corresponding receive call. The consumer routine gets ready for execution. But again, since we have only one thread, it only gets scheduled but not yet started. Producer R, in the meantime, can continue its execution. The rendezvous already happened. It doesn't need to wait for anything. It continues the execution and prints A done. The producer A coroutine has completed everything it was intended to do. Now it's no longer alive and can be garbage collected. The thread gets free. Both coroutines are ready to be resumed, but the producer B one was first, so it gets resumed first. 
it doesn't need to send anything, it just prints be done and finishes its life. Lastly, consumer coroutine is resumed. It finishes its execution, receives the A2 value and prints it. We've finished discussing this exam. You now understand why you see this output while running this code. Why A done and B done are printed before A2. Simply because producer A and producer B were scheduled at some point before the consumer coroutine. I hope this video helps to better understand how the rendezvous channel works. There is nothing complicated about that. The buffer channel works in a similar fashion, with the only difference that it also has a buffer, so some elements can be stored internally. Only the consequent send calls are suspended. If there are several producers and consumers working with the same channel, the suspension mechanism is an easy way to adjust their load.